All right, guys, day two out here at Piedmont and getting ready for the Carolina No Time stuff. Ready? Already. We'll see. How was your last night? It went good last night. It made some A to B passes. We had to turn down a lot. Are you revealing any times on this car? Um, probably not on the internet because I don't want anybody to kick me out of the race. You're not lighting boards though. No, I'm not lighting boards. It went to 70 last night. <laughs> that quick. It all took to get you to tell a time. <laughs> I'm here for the pictures and to be on the flyer. Is there, uh, are there any people or companies you want to give a shout out to? Here's your chance. Always Holly, uh, Holly EFI, Doug Cook, Motion Race Works, uh, Robert Lane, Fast Lane Nitrous, is a nitrous car. He looks out for me a lot. Because you have a nitrous car. I do have a nitrous car. Well, my dad has a nitrous car that I drive and work on and whatever. Um, I need to give a shout out to Scott Sublet too, my engine guy, because he does so much behind the scenes and then he's never on the camera and never around so people don't know he's there. Alright, alright. I certainly don't. Alright. No like just the wheel man. I'm just the wheel man. What about uh, this guy named Devin? You have to get uh, him a shout out? I don't want to shout out. We don't want to give him any credit. His neck already hurts. And he's already got that big ass head. <laughs> and I don't want to like tip him over or anything. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, Devin does a lot for me, like as far as not just the tuning, but like teaching me how to race. You know, yep. A big deal, you know, uh, good habits, you know, how to save things. And, Getting the car ready, loading the car, kind of the process and stuff like that. I mean, you know, when Devin was racing his own car, he was winning like nearly every race he showed up to, and so I'm trying to, I'm trying to you know, learn those. Learn from the best. Yeah, I'm trying to learn those methods. All right. Well, the car looks good. Are you, what's the plan? Are you gonna make like one or two shakedowns before first round? First round's at four o'clock right now. It's noon. Yeah, we're gonna try to make two shakedowns. Um, and assuming it goes down both times, I'll turn it up a little bit each time. Um, you know, if it just goes to mid four today, I'm gonna be happy. I'll probably turn it up even more from there. But I've never been any faster than that before. And I, Big thing today is is the track. We're trying to get down the track. I'm struggling with the track. And uh, you seem to be doing well, so you're I'm. Gonna, you're gonna turn it down, so. We did turn down a lot. Let me ask you, how much front travel do you got in the car right now? How many inches? I think mine's got two inches. Two inches of front travel. Two inches. All right. All right. Devin likes to race, and if you can keep two inches, you can keep the car on the ground. Which you know, mine we we backed up a little bit, so you know it may try to go to the moon this time, but I don't. I don't think so. Well, you're a driver, driver, so you'll catch it if it does. But I think you're good. I'll car looks right good. Sparks. Car looks good though. It's, it, it really does. It looks it's good. Really straight. You know, so. Level, so. All right. Well, we'll catch up with it. We'll get you making a pass. Good. Good luck. Be safe. I'm coming for that ass later. All right. So we go over here. We got uh, the black sheep and um, and yeah, we're just making changes, adding some travel, and uh, we're going from there. All right. So we've been adding some travel, taking some power out. We're just trying to really get to go down track. Uh, that's the biggest thing is we can get some data on this new setup and go down track. I think we'll be all right. We just need to go A to B. Uh, we went down A to B last night, but uh, bottle pressure leaked out and it was just it sucked. So it went like a 520 at 128. It didn't shift because it's got an air shifter in it. So we got that all figured out. Um, really just looking to go A to B. If this thing goes a four. 80 to us a, a 460 in that range no complaints we can go from there um we've really never tried to go this slow in the 60 foot but you got to race the track and um we were a lot tighter on the front travel than we thought we were uh so i got to do a better job of keeping track of that and um, just trying to get better at everything i do you know as far as um as just tracking data and setups on the car i think it's really important to log every adjustment you have on the car for every pass so then you can look back at the book and say well at this travel with this much power it went this 60 foot and the track conditions i felt were uh, you know a, a six out of ten so i'm trying to get into a routine of doing that the holly software uh, allows you to uh, put your track your, your times and your splits in uh, for the tune and the setup so you kind of have a configuration there but I'm all I'm like old trusty like Jason with the hook book I just want to see it on a piece of paper and be able to flip through and be like all right here's where we are damn what a big old ass we got the dang John Darty pulling on up in the stage lines Anything you want to say to your fans, Mr. John Duck? Hopefully it goes down. We made a bunch of changes, and we'll see. And uh, I run against Vendetta. We ran against him in Georgia. So I asked him to not bust my ass terribly. So 
people see that thing's flying, and uh, I don't want no problems. But uh, we're gonna run side by side because I think everyone's tired of seeing solo passes and everyone's spinning the tires. So, regardless of shakedowns, we're gonna have some fun. Hopefully, it runs good, goes A to B, come back, and go a little bit faster. What do you think? I think it's time to shake and bake. Shake and bake, baby. What you think, Ben? I think that. Okay, well, sir, Mr. Forrest, John told me to come over here per request and get a car view interview. I want to know why I don't have a shirt like that. Hey, I can get you one. Can you yes, one? sir. I need one. You going to be at Benson Thursday? Uh, I might. I might. I get off a little bit late, but I'll make them ride. What size you wear? Uh, 2X. I'll, I'll see like if I got like one. <laughs> What's your prediction on the day? Well... I just hope it goes down and it don't tear nothing up. Uh, you know, the cars that got a lot of new shit. If it goes, if it goes good for, I'm gonna be happy. Tell them don't even turn it up no more. I just need to practice, you know, stage. Of, my burnouts have been screwed. Last night, the, uh, the I had pulled the pin out of the Deutsch connector and so the line lock wasn't working. So all my burnouts, I was like sideways and about running over people. You was that. doing the Mustang burnout? Yeah, you know, <laughs> the cars and coffee burnout, that's what I was doing. Uh, and so if I could do a burnout, that would be in the kitchen, you know what I mean? Uh, I keep the expectations real low, so then I'm always happy. Exactly. Uh, if it don't blow up, and I don't wreck it, then anything on top of that is great. Just go A to B. A to B. A to B and cruise down.
I think it, the car is making so much more power and torque that it's literally just overpowering our settings on the shock. It's separating top of the shock out like 30 feet out, hitting the tires, and then you're done from there. So I got back into it, went 157 out the back, and I got barely rolled back into it. But it is strong. I mean, it's it's blown me away the power that's making. So um, we are going to add a little bit more travel, tighten up the rear, try to get the balance right. Might have to send the shocks off to be revalved, but. Um, we're just trying. Force had a little issue over here. I'll see what they got going on. They're looking at some stuff. So he went down after me. Oh, Look at him over here with his laptop. When I seen the car, I was like, oh my yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Was he scared? He didn't want the, the black sheep got him, didn't it? It got him scared. Is that what he did? He he didn't want to bust my ass. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. So they, uh, they're going over some things right now on the car, getting ready, still shaking it down. I'm jealous, it's got a nice clear view filter on there. It's a pretty badass setup. So um, I think we're gonna try to get one more shakedown and they're gonna call first round. And um, hopefully everything's good from there. Hey, the black sheep scared you, huh? So what happened was I didn't wanna make you look bad on the YouTube channel. So I just bumped it in and then I cut it off. You know what I mean? So it would look like something happened and I didn't have to, I, you know, I didn't want you to get outrun by all steel, all glass. Oh, all steel, all glass. Style. Oh my God. Style. I didn't want to stress out. No, what really happened is it just went bad on the brake and, and cut off. All right. It's got big injectors in it. Yep. What are they? They are 850s. Holy smokes. And it's kind of it's kind of volatile, you know. And if you don't get it just right when it's sitting there, if it bangs a long time, it'll 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 bang. You saying I burned you down? No, because I went in way way early. Like I think I started building before you did. Uh, I listened for you, and as soon as you did, because I, I think I can beat you up on the chip. Probably. So I bumped in, and uh, I used to man, I could I could nearly foot brake the car, but with that new converter, it's so much tighter. But yeah. It, it takes a little bit longer to build up. Now that's why I started first, and we went in, and I was like waiting for the beam to come down, and then mine cut off, and you took off. I mean, it was like literally we were. I was about to let go of the trans brake. Yeah, I went I went 030 on the light, so I'd have had to get covered anyways, you know. I'd have drove running high gear. Oh no. I was gonna get that high gear. <laughs> I hit the tire, so you probably were going to go right down. No, no, then I, I, I spooled it up again where it was sitting. And uh, they just, I didn't bump in again or anything. I spooled it up again where it was sitting and let go of the brake, and it just blew the tire. Yeah. It didn't even move an inch, so that's, that's what would have happened. The, the track is, is definitely not ideal. No, it's it's not as good as what we used to be. It's a, well, a lot, it's like, it's gooey right now. It's a lot of glue. They can't get, like, it right. I don't know. It's just, it's tough. I, uh, we turned the we turned the launch RPM down again, so we to kill it a little bit more. Yep. And you know, I hadn't been trying to mile an hour on the big end really at all. We hadn't put a lot of boost in. Uh, we were on 19 pounds last night. Damn, 19 pounds. 19 pounds. It went 150 on 19 pounds. Holy smokes. Uh, but he put a little bit more on it this time, so we're gonna try to leave softer and then pull right. the backs up and try to make a little bit of heat. We got one more test hit. We got one more test it. And then first round. First round. All right, well, get it done. We're gonna try. Just watch out for the sheep. Hey, they, you, know, you know what they say? They say sheep happens. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> you scared the shit out of my car and cut the bitch off. Now, are you sitting here with your cool suit on? No, I, it was so nice out here when we got in, I didn't put it on, because I was like, it's not that hot out, you know, and then we sat in the cars for 40 minutes, and I was like, God, I should have put it on. All right. Uh -huh. So nice, though. Shut I was waiting I for it. Parts. I got some parts from them this week for the thing to blow the cold air in my helmet. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. That way when I'm out running LS Nasty, I'll have air conditioned ball. Unbelievable. I'm going back to my trailer. Unbelievable. The disrespect. Westbo. Hey, buddy. What's your prediction on the day? We're trying. We're definitely trying. We're shaking like bacon, baby. Yeah. Uh, track's not there, or we're not there. One. But, Big tires. Uh, I don't approve of this message.
What's going on? Like a 10? No, oh, just keep that shit up. Hey, hey, where's those? Hey, where's those? Hold on. Word. And he got the good smelling fuel. That's a good smelling fuel. I need a drink of these. Push the O ring out of the injector. O ring out of the fuel. You know what? I got it. 